We'll be taking you live to the NDC headquarters where there's a press conference being addressed by the chairman of the party. Graphic Online and our own communications bureau. Without much ado, I would invite the national chairman to address you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the media. And let me thank you for your prompt response to our invitation at a very short notice. We appreciate you and we are happy about the agency you place on our preparation towards rescuing this country come December 2024. We are all in together as a nation. We may swim or sink together. So it is no longer an issue about NDC, MPP, Electoral Commission, whatever. It is our very survivor as a nation. And the survivor of our young democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, not long ago, you may recall that some biometric voter registration kits kept under CCTV surveillance were reportedly stolen from the headquarters of the Electoral Commission of Ghana. Pursuant to this theft, the NDC raised issues. First was our minority leader who raised issues about it because the theft was never reported but it was detected by our vigilant NDC members in parliament. So they raised an issue. Electoral Commission came quickly to rubbish their claims. But we still nevertheless call for an emergency IPAC meeting to deal with those particular issues. It was at that meeting that the explanations offered earlier by the Electoral Commission in the public domain and those offered at the IPAC meeting were found to be unsatisfactory. And so our gallant director of elections posed 35 questions to the Electoral Commission relating to the missing BVRs. As we speak to you, these questions remain unanswered. We subsequently communicated the questions to the Electoral Commission on paper. Still, as we speak, no answers have been provided. Therefore, the Electoral Commission cannot expect the NDC to believe and trust that all is well with their equipment and their preparations getting into these 2024 December elections. But as I keep on saying, if you have to dine with the devil, that is, if you don't have any option than to dine with the devil, you must have a long spoon so that where you are sitting will be at least a little far away from where the devil will be sitting. That means that we must keep vigilance on every step that Electoral Commission takes moving towards the December elections. 
Don't ask me about trust of electoral commission anymore. Because we all know that trust can never be the basis of any election. And indeed, the whole purpose of procuring equipment and reducing human intervention and all that, and improving transparency and using IT, the whole purpose is that the underlying factor is that human beings cannot be trusted in elections. That is the bottom line. Because why? If we all believe that we can trust ourselves, why do we need a voter's register? Every Ghanaian can be trusted. The Electoral Commission can be trusted. So we expect that anybody at age 18 and above will walk to a polling station and then demand a ballot paper and cast their votes and walk away because we trust that they will be speaking the truth. It is because we cannot trust ourselves. That's why we uh, resort to uh, equipment and IT systems to help us to reduce reliance on human trust. Ladies and gentlemen, we didn't end there. We petitioned the Speaker of Parliament to constitute an independent bipartisan investigation into the matter of stolen biometric equipment of the Electoral Commission of Ghana. We all know that Parliament has had to go on break abruptly. So again, not much progress has been made along that path. Ladies and gentlemen, the NDC has always been suspicious that the stolen kits could be used to illegally register some people in order to add them to the voters' register to enable them to vote on December 7, 2024. That remains our suspicion. And that underlines all the precautionary measures we are trying to take to forestall that one and give everybody peace of mind, including the Electoral Commission and the new patriotic party that is in government. I have made a point <laughs> that if a, a thief enters a house and steal some items and walk away where well, the house owner is keeping bulldogs and you don't hear any barking from any of the bulldogs you know that the thief is the relative of the house owner <laughs> who has been coming to the house frequently so the dogs will have no reason to bark because the thief is a part owner of the house. If hardware can be stolen under CCTV surveillance, why not an activation code? We all know that in the past, the officers on the field were allowed to activate the registration kits. Today, as we speak to you, all that has been centralized. If it is centralized, it tells you that it is the electoral commission at their headquarters alone that can provide their activation, that can do the activation and send the codes. It was evident on the first day of registration, up to 12 noon, 
many of the registration centers had not had the activation code, so they couldn't work. So if EC is the only body that provides the activation codes, and some of the kids are missing, and they come to tell you that, oh, don't mind, without their activation, they are useless. Who does the activation? If you are keeping those codes in, say, Togo or somewhere, Burkina Faso, or in some houses, and you, are, uh, and you do your activation and send your codes to the thief who is a relative, how are we supposed to know? So we have then decided that to put a check on those things. If we don't know or cannot identify the kids that are stolen, at least those that are in use today, can be identified and tracked so that we know the identity of the kids that are being used in this registration exercise. Faced with this imminent threat of a compromised voters' register, we adopted a precautionary measure going into the limited registration exercise. And that is why the NDC taxes registration agents across the country to record the serial numbers of all BVD kits, uh, BVR kits that will be deployed by the Electoral Commission. And the logic is simple. You have so many registration kits. You claim some thief has stolen some of them, whose identity you refuse to disclose to us. So we can track them when we see them somewhere. Now, if we say that, OK, if we cannot track those that are missing, at least we can track those that are in use now. So that when we know those that are in use, then data from any other equipment that is not in use in our registration centers here would then be rejected as fraudulent data that is coming from elsewhere. Now that to you say, no way, we won't allow you to take, and, uh, to take the serial numbers and track the equipment that is being used in this country. What is the reason? As I have said earlier, among other things, the essence of recording the serial numbers of the BVR kits will help us trace, identify, and match every registration data emanating from a specific district or electoral area. The serial numbers will also help us track all unauthorized personnel who operate the BVR kits in an electoral area. This will forestall any clandestine registration aimed at contaminating the voters' register. We are determined to ring fence the threat and risks for the 2024 elections. By documenting the serial numbers of each BVR kit that will be used in this registration exercise. Our agents also have our firm instructions that if BVR kits malfunction and are replaced during registration, they should duly record the serial numbers of the new BVR kits and the date and time of their use. Ladies and gentlemen, we are utterly surprised that this precautionary measure, simple as it may be, taken by the NDC, is being resisted fiercely by the Electoral Commission. 
For whatever purpose, nobody knows. Why is the EC resisting the stopping, uh, resisting and stopping NDC registration agents from recording the serial numbers of biometric voter registration kits? Why? The question is, what does the EC have to hide? What is their fear over the mere recording of the serial numbers of these BVR kits? Knowing very well, some have been stolen under your watch. Some have been stolen under your watch. We say, let us track and protect those that are yet to be stolen. And you are resisting. Are you not part of the thieves? Is there something they are hiding from the public? Will our precautionary measure not prevent the criminals who stole the BVR kit from using them to illegally register people? If the EC has nothing to hide, they should just allow all willing political parties to record the serial numbers of BVR kits during this limited voter registration exercise. Friends from the media, on election day, serial numbers of biometric verification devices are recorded on the statement of pool, commonly called pink sheets. Is that not the case? Agents of political parties have access to the serial numbers of BVDs. So why stop the recording of serial numbers of BVR kids? Those who may not understand this, the biometric voter registration kit is what is being used now to capture the data of persons of registrable age. In other words, to help us compile the voters register. During election, in order to ensure that the same people who were registered are the very people who will be voting, we upload these registers onto the BVD, biometric verification devices. The data that is being captured with the BVRs is uploaded onto the BVDs and taken to the polling stations where their particulars are used to verify whether they are the same people who were registered on that day. Now, we are allowed access to the serial numbers of the biometric verification devices that are used in the conduct of the elections at the polling stations. If we are saying that, let us now identify the, the kits that are used to capture the register in the first place, and you say no. What it means is that you, you alone will determine <laughs> which people to capture, which machines to be used, and nobody can track it. So you can add names there. And once the names are already inside, when you upload them onto the verification kits, and the people turn out to vote, even if they come as Togolese, or Burkinabes, or Ivorians, the law does not prevent them from voting once their names are already inside. So we are saying, let us have a handle on the equipment that is being used to capture the register. Then we can trace 
where each of the equipments will be operating. So that if we find an equipment that has captured data and it is not in the stock that has been deployed across the country, we can raise questions. Is that not a transparency measure that will improve the credibility of the voters register and by extension, the credibility of the electoral commission itself? if they are interested in building any credibility at all. Members of the media and Ghanaians, because we are all Ghanaians as well. We wish to serve notice. And notice is hereby served that NDC registration agents across the country will resist the EC's clandestine attempts aimed at diminishing transparency in the voter registration exercise. <laughs> Let me emphasize that our agents must activate the party's high-tech application systems to transmit all serial numbers of BVR kits in their district and electoral areas to the national elections and IT directorate of the party, with or without the approval of the Electoral Commission. <laughs> we shall not falter. We shall not relent. We shall not tire. And we will live true to our mantra that NDC, no retreat, no surrender. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we do not expect the Electoral Commission of Ghana to act as the conduit through which Akufuado will implement his avowed determination not to hand over power to a visionary, experienced, and trustworthy John Dramani Mahama. MPP must choose peaceful transfer of power from the MPP president to the National Democratic Congress in their own interest. The 2024 elections will not be business as usual. The EC must sit up. The EC must answer the 35 questions posed by the NDC on the stolen biometric equipment. And the EC has no option but to allow our agents to record the serial numbers of the BVR kits deployed for this registration exercise if they have nothing to hide. Improved transparency, ladies and gentlemen, is beneficial to all stakeholders. But above all, it enhances the credibility of the elections administration body, which in our case is the Electoral Commission of Ghana. Finally, let me use this opportunity to repeal our call to the Ghanaian population, particularly through the civil society organizations, chiefs, opinion leaders, leaders of faith-based organizations, etc., etc., to join us to demand more transparency and fairness, which is a necessary precondition for peaceful elections. Anybody who is interested in peaceful elections must begin demanding transparency and fairness in the elections. You don't sleep over injustice and then come around to call the one who is being treated unfairly 
to secure peace for the country. We shall not be the victims of peace. If we all want peace, let us work towards peace. And the beginning point is to ensure that there is fairness. If there is fairness, everybody would be comfortable. Those that are defeated will accept. And those that win will be happy because they worked for the victory. And the totality of Ghanaian population will be happy because they have had the opportunity to exercise their inalienable right of self-determination, i.e. to choose their own leaders. Before I sit down, I want to address uh, a release that we just had when we were working to this uh, to address this press conference from the Electoral Commission. Yeah. We get the impression that they were trying to preempt this press conference by answering questions that have not been asked yet. <laughs> and because they did not have the patience to listen to the questions, they are bound to make mistakes in their answers. For the purpose of those who have not read it, I'd like to make a few references. The Electoral Commission wishes to address the NDC's request for serial numbers of biometric voter registration kits currently deployed in the field for the limited voter registration exercise. The Commission wishes to highlight that the integrity and security of our electoral process are paramount. Each BVR kit, as a critical component of this process, is assigned a unique serial number. This number plays a crucial role in the operation of these devices, particularly in the generation of activation codes essential for their functionality as well as tracking the location of their movement. Releasing these serial numbers to any external parties, including political entities, poses substantial risks to the security and integrity of our electoral registration process. That is why this has never been done since biometric voting system was introduced in Ghana. The specific risks are as follows. And I'll take the risks one by one and prove to you how hollow the, uh, the, this response is. First, compromise kit security. The serial numbers are integral to the security framework of BVR kits. Disclosure of these numbers could potentially allow unauthorized access to the devices, thereby compromising integrity of the voter registration process. What about the stolen ones? Were they not stolen together with their serial numbers? <laughs> and when the thieves entered there, didn't they have opportunity to even pick as many serial numbers as possible from those they couldn't carry away? And the same commission is telling us that we shouldn't mind. The kids are mere kids. If they are not activated, they cannot be used for anything. Well, you do your activation. We are not asking you to give us the code to register, to activate. We said that let's see it and copy the number. The same way the thieves who have stolen these ones are uh, 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 in, 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 in the know of the numbers. So you see, they are shooting themselves down.
So is the Electoral Commission maintaining that the serial numbers pose security risks to the integrity of the whole system? And if so, how can the same math be telling us that we shouldn't mind? Because after all, those that have been stolen by thieves are of no consequences if they are not activated. Or they are telling us that if you are NDC and you pick the serial number, it is dangerous. If you are a thief and you pick the serial number, it's safe. These are the people you have there when you are paying them. Targeted manipulation of kids. Number two. Knowledge of the serial numbers could enable targeted attacks on specific BVR kits located at certain parts of the country, thereby causing chaos, political conflict, and operational challenges. <laughs> 